The Council has taken a risk-based approach to classifying AI systems. At the top, they've placed the unacceptable risk category. AI systems in the unacceptable risk category are systems considered a clear threat to the safety, livelihoods and rights of people. These systems are banned. The next category are the high-risk systems. AI systems identified as high-risk include AI technology used in specific, listed, applications. We will discuss a summary of this list a bit later. With an overview of the requirements or obligations for these systems to make them compliant. These systems will be highly regulated and a European register will be kept. Limited risk systems refers to AI systems that people interact with. These systems will have to make users aware that they are interacting with a machine. All other systems are considered minimal risk and are not impacted when this AI act will come into force. In the approach chosen by the Council, a generic list of AI application areas is designated as high risk in Annex 3. This list can be adapted over time if new developments warrant that. It is, however, already a long list. AI systems identified as high risk include AI technology used in biometric identification and categorization of natural persons, critical infrastructures that could put the life and health of citizens at risk, educational or vocational training that may determine the access to education and professional course of someone's life, safety components of products, employment, management of workers, and access to self-employment. For example, CV sorting software for recruitment procedures, essential private and public services, for example credit scoring, denying citizens opportunity to obtain a loan, or AI systems that influence the deployment of emergency services, like fire engines or ambulances, law enforcement that may interfere with people's fundamental rights, migration, asylum and border control management, for example, verification of authenticity of travel documents. Administration of justice and democratic processes. This has just been a listing of the main labels. If you think you might be impacted, we advise you to delve deeper into the matter. Because, if you're impacted, you will have to comply with several obligations. Again, we're just listing the main labels here. High risk AI systems will be subject to strict obligations, adequate risk assessment, and mitigation systems. High quality of the datasets feeding the system to minimize risks and discriminatory outcomes. Logging of activity to ensure traceability of results. Detailed documentation, providing all information necessary on the system and its purpose, for authorities to assess its compliance. Clear and adequate information to the user. Appropriate human oversight measures to minimize risk. High level of robustness, security and accuracy. Overall, if you think your AI system is, or will be, a high-risk system, it makes sense to start planning for compliance today.